11 of 20. Into the record books, the nutrition has been high in this one. There is the green, and Travis Downey has just enough speed to make it to turn number one first. Waterman is right there on his back bumper, but the battle is for the third spot, and there's no question about that. Tyler Trott to the inside of for that position as they go to turn number three. Off turn four, battle is up front. Waterman digging hard to the bottom on Travis Downey for the race lead. Clemens looking on in third in car number 67. New leader and now contact in turn two. Waterman hangs on to it. Downey tried to cross over move. There wasn't enough room. He'll settle in the line in second. Five laps to go. And Aaron Clemens still in that conga line in the third spot with Jason Finkbein in fourth and Tyler Trott holding on to five. Four cars, bumper to bumper. Here comes Travis Downey going to the inside. Downey puts the car to the bottom. Travis Downey is back in command. Waterman is right there. And here comes Aaron Plemons. Plemons isn't about to give up. Look at Plemons. Plemons becomes the leader in two turns of the racetrack. Shuffles Downey back to second and Waterman back to third. Goes from third to first for Aaron Clemens. Here comes Travis Hydar deeper in the pack. He's in a bid for position number six, but it's Clemens at the start finish line by a car length over Travis Downey. Waterman is back to third, losing a bit of ground as he has company with Jason Finkbein and Tyler Trott there. And now Travis Hydar is up to six. Battle for the lead again in turn number four. It's not over with yet. Two circuits to go, one mile left in the competition. The car that started in the 11th starting position has worked its way to the front for Aaron Clements. Clements' car right there on the outside. Here comes Downey. Lapped automobiles, will they become a factor or not? Oh, the left cars on the bottom. Now we've got one directly in the line of fire. They're almost three wide. Here comes Waterman. White flag, one lap to go. Waterman to the inside. Travis Downey to the outside. Waterman looking for a win number four on the season. Downey gets a good run off of turn number two and up the back straight away for the final time. No question about it. Waterman pulled off the Timex timely move of the event. Meanwhile, moving in, here is the challenge for second. They come off the turn. Waterman will take down yet another victory. Wow, I'm speechless. That was some great racing with Travis, and uh, I don't even know what else happened there. I think Aaron was up in the mix. We had a heck of a battle with Ryan Waterman. Uh, I love racing like that. That's what makes this so fun. Uh, glad to be able to put it out on floor racing. Everybody can see it at home.